Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today I thought I'd share with you a little walkthrough of the new 2013 spring catalog from Stampin' Up. And while it's chock full of stamp sets and embossing folders and everything, what I thought I'd spend our time today on is really looking at the embellishments. I think sometimes we can get so excited about stamp stamp images and the dies and the embossing folders that we overlook some of the little stuff that really can add and make our projects. You'll notice throughout this catalog that embellishments are really huge and trendy right now. And so I'm really gonna spend the time focusing more on the embellishments for this um, edition of Coffee Talk. Okay, so when we first open up the catalog, um, we're gonna see a couple of things on page three. It's the Delicate Details Lace Tape as well as the Tea Time Trinkets. I like the tape at, um, for um, a couple of reasons. One, it's going to be super quick and easy to just, you know, tear off a section and instantly um, have something without punching. The second reason I like it, it has to do with punching. Maybe if you're starting to get arthritis or you have arthritis and it's a little hard to use those um, border punches, or, you know, this is a great way of getting the look without having to um, put stress on our joints. Um, I know that I'm starting to get just a start of the arthritis, and I can so see where um, you know this would be very desirable for me if I couldn't punch anymore. Um, the tea time trinkets, oh my gosh, I just love them. Okay, so you get five trinkets, different trinkets, little charms in here. They do come with lobster claw, lobster claws, and but I just thought I'd point this out because I can so see wanting to do this for maybe a, a women's group. I get asked all the time, you know, do, do you have any ideas of what I could do with my, we are having a Mother's Day tea, or my ladies group is getting together and I like to have a little something special. You could so incorporate this into a little, um, oh, I guess just the table setting, um, even doing like a craft project, you know, in lieu of a program, I've done those before. And, you know, and it's fun, and you could so incorporate the whole tea theme into that. Um, and so for $6 for five, you know, that's a very doable per person little party favor. So whether you use one or all of them. So anyways, I thought those were super cute, especially with um, Mother's Day or ladies groups. Okay, so that's an embellishment and some things there. Okay, on page five, I'm just a little bit in love with the flower trim. You get, um, it's approximately two yards of this flower trim. I have none left, I've used it all up. <laughs> but with two yards, I actually counted out the individual flowers. And on my two yards, I got 100 individual flowers. So if you were using these for cards or you know scrapbook pages or even little bundles, this um, these two yards will really go a long way because you know chances are you're not going to use them in a strip like that's on this vintage chipboard album that I have. You just trim them apart and you can use individual ones. And they show them um, some projects throughout the catalog with that. Again, this catalog is so full with embellishment because embellishments and layers, layers, layers are super trendy going into spring. Paper doilies, they're four inch doilies. You get 24 of them in the pack. If you've never used doilies before, you just want to make sure that you, you do have them separated. They have a tendency to kind of want to stick together and um, you know it's part of the die cutting. But these are yummy because you can sit there and stamp on them. You can ink up the edges, distress them. Um, you know, only use half of them or sections of them for your projects. So, um, and a super easy way of getting another layer on your cards. So again, when you look through the catalog, you'll notice that those doilies are used throughout. Mine's on back order, but the crepe um, filter paper, I had that ordered because again, it's like the doily. You can do lots of different 3D embellishments and it's already pre-cut and ready to go for you. Okay, we'll kind of, like I said, just so many cute images, sentiments, some new um, stamp sets to energize our stamp collection, invitations. Um, I have a whole class designed around the more amore, so please 
Um, check that out if you want some idea starters of how to use the specialty paper here. Another thing that I spied and I instantly fell in love with was this artisan embellishment kit. You get 26 total pieces of this. And again, um, that's what inspired me to make this chipboard album. And here's like, you know, you get this lace that's behind here, not the flower trim, but the lace ribbon. All of those embellishments here. You get um, some, you know, just such a wide variety of embellishments that you can really take this kit, have a nice assortment, and I think this is um, this kit is a great way to stretch your budget because you're getting a lot of different things that you can play with and incorporate without having to buy bulk of each one. So I'm in love with this artisan kit. I bet I order a million of them before this catalog is expired. I just can't seem to stop wanting to use it. Um, um, it's not an embellishment, but I wanted to share with you how I use Stampin' Up's catalog. Um, this idea here that they show is to use a picture frame with a chalk board or paint behind it and, you know, have that. I took their 3D element and turned it into a card. So, again, I just kind of, you know, cased their 3D project to make a card. So you can use that, you know, maybe that's an idea that you can use throughout the catalog, too. Oh, my gosh. Another thing I'm just in love with and love and love and that is this designer builder brad you get enough to make um, let me just double check here um, 16 of custom brads and so you can take them and if you can see this um, it's got the more a more designer paper the brads come plain like this with nothing in the center and you do need the the itty bitty circle from the punch itty bitty punch pack and punch out a circle and then you would use Tombow and adhere that down here and then it comes with these little 3D bubble things that you that are um, it has adhesive on one side of them you just peel them off and stick it on to your brad and you've got a custom brad I just love that absolutely love that idea and I don't know if you can see this or not, but how cute would it be if you um, shrunk down a, a child's picture and put it in there and had it on a card to the grandparents or somebody just to say hi, or even if you did it for a graduation picture, ugh, put it on a graduation invitation. So many cute things that you can put here, any little paper or picture or design, and um, have a little embellishment, a little custom embellishments. These don't come in the in the um, container like this. I took them apart from the kit and um, wanted to keep them all together. So I just used an empty bread container. But love that one. Love it, love it, love it. Little butterfly punch. Here's the one that came out new in the, um, in the catalog last um, summer. And so now we have a companion butterfly. And just in case you were wondering, I did grab our Papillia and Potpourri stamp set and the butterflies do match each other so you can do stamp and punch with the little ones as well. More designer fabric through the catalog. So many, so many cute things. So anything from um, whimsical to girly to floral to... Um, Oh, I guess there's like some, you know, masculine images in there. Um, you know, I was talking about embellishments, but I just have to stop and say how much I'm just loving, loving, loving this big butterfly. It's so cute. Here's a card that I made. It just, you know, pops out in its simplicity. A few um, coloring elements, some dazzling details, and a sentiment inside, and, you know, you're ready to go. Super fast card and cute. Love it. So many cute things to do with it. Here's another, um, I guess, embellishment kit. It's the Pop-Up Posies Designer Kit. You get the stamp and um, nine of these embossed paper flowers. So, again, making it super cute and easy for us to um, get some 3D elements very quickly. There's that butterfly again. 
texture is everywhere with the embellishments and for a more masculine feel or natural feel, the trim ribbon here, it's great as well. Um, so we've got some nice bold colors. Sometimes we look for masculine inspiration. This could be it for you if that's what you're looking for. Oh, let's see here. Oh, another, this is some canvas that you can stamp on. Another cool thing. Here's some um, sweet thread simply scent. It's a little card kit that you can actually cross stitch. So you get enough thread to make the little cross stitch con um, creations that um, match perfectly the card stock and the paper that you can make with it. So I think this would make a great um, kit to do with the kids too. Like so if you've got um, maybe a a preteen or a teenager daughter, I think this would be a fun craft to do. There's still a lot of winter left, at least in Northeast Indiana, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, the soda pop tops. Remember when those were in, um, in trend a couple of years back, maybe five or six years back, and they're back in, and you can do a lot of neat things with it. I'm just uploading a video too on how to um, make these pop cans so that they're flatter. You run them through the Big Shot, it's just a couple minute video. And I'll show you how you can take the pop tops from going like this to like this. That way they're not quite as bulky on their cards. Some matching stamp sets that you can use in conjunction with that. Another little, um, another little kit. Kits are great when you wanna do some crafting but you don't wanna think up the project or do the research on online of how to, you know, how to do it. It's like, it's just, you have all of the materials right there whenever you're ready to do it. Another little embellishment um, add-on for our Simply Scored Scoring Tool. There's a lo another little plate that you can add, just like there was the diagonal plate. This one's gonna be the Borders Scoring Plate, where it's actually gonna help us make these really neat patterns on our cards. So this is going to be one to watch for. That's definitely going to be fun to play with. Another piercing pack that matches some more of the stamped images and die cuts that are available through Stampin' Up. Here's those flowers again. They just cut three of them out. 97 more to go. Cute little clips, you know, to add on to a card or a note. So super cute. Um, little cloudy day embossing folder. Oh, let's see. Getting some more cute images. Scrapping kits. This is something new that Stampin' Up! is um, evidently coming out with. It's some pop-up kits. So um, this is for the card, but um, just wanted to kind of point that out, that there's some pop-ups coming our way. And the digital stuff. So I think that highlights the, the embellishments that you may or may not have overlooked. If you have got, if you were a customer customer of mine the last 12 months, you should have received um, this catalog in the mail. If um, you didn't, um, please email me. Or if you're not already working with a Stampin' Up demonstrator and you would like a catalog, please email me and let me know that too, and I'll work to get one right out to you. These are available at any time to view online on Stampin' Up's website. Just click under Publications, and you'll be all set. Thanks for taking the tour with me, everybody. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.